Hello, my name is Ashley Hemingway. I'm a jeweller who works in a variety of materials and for this exhibition I've chose to work in textiles. These are the pieces for the exhibition. Uh, they're made out of fabric um, and I thought it would be quite nice to talk you through my process. First of all, I'd just like to show you my workshop. So this is my lovely studio. Very lucky to have a lovely big space. This is my textile part of the studio. And as I come round, I've got my lovely enamelling kiln. Here's my jewellery bench. And a few samples up here. I've always worked in enamel, metal, glass. But in the last few years, I've added my love of textiles uh, to, to my jewellery work. So uh, in order to create my work, I start off with, uh, for, uh, for this particular body of work, with a fabric called Georgette. So this is some Georgette fabric. Um, I work in white or cream fabric. Uh, and then I like to dye it myself. So um, if I just come across here and show you the dyes I use. Here we go. They're called dispersed dyes. And I mix them into a liquid, like so and then paint the liquid onto some paper. I've used uh, newsprint paper here and uh, painted the designs on that I wanted. You obviously can paint anything you like. These are just some forms, uh, some uh, designs that would work with the forms that I was creating. Once the dye is dry, uh, we use a, a heat press next. So I'll come across my studio here to show you my heat press. So this is a clam style heat press and what you do is you take your paper that you painted, cut yourself a piece of fabric, so this started off as uh, the white fabric I showed you earlier, and then you make a sandwich. So you've got your paper, your fabric, and then you heat up your heat press to about 190 degrees centigrade and once it reaches its heat temperature, pull your clam down and leave it in for about 30 seconds. Now. This particular body of work, I actually experimented with using it for uh, pressing it for slightly less time. 30 seconds can create some quite intense colours, which is beautiful, but I wanted to make a much subtler look for this body of work. So I started experimenting, cutting the time down, getting it down to 10 seconds, and in some cases even 5 seconds. And the colours become a lot softer and a lot more subtle. So once I've got my fabric as um, the colour I'm happy with, then I need to create the pleats. So what I do for this, I'm coming across here, you can see my lovely steamer. Um, I steam my fabric to create the pleats. And I start off by taking uh, uh, just a tube, a cardboard tube here, and wrapping the fabric around it and then um, spiralling around some uh, thread. So you can see the spread, uh, the, the thread is spiralled around here. Okay, and once you've done that, you push the fabric up to the end to create these gathers and pleats. So once the whole thing is pushed along, um, it goes into the steamer for about 30 minutes. And once that's done, you let the fabric cool down and unravel it from the tube. And what you end up with is these very lovely springy pieces of fabric. So we've got the blue piece there and the kind of ochre natural colours on this one. These lovely pleats, as I say, are very, very lovely and springy. And what happens to the dye, well, for me, one of the beautiful things is that you get this lovely um, sort of blend of colours. They start to become much softer and blend together. And as you, as you move them in and out, you get this lovely kind of um, display of colour here. So I've been sort of working, using these techniques for quite some time and working in much larger scale, more sculptural pieces. But for my jewellery, I've been practising um, bringing the size down. Um, so I've been playing around with just the undyed fabric, pleating it, and then creating these forms. So what I'm doing here is I'm stitching the fabric together by hand. 
um, and then gathering and pulling the fabric to create sort of these lovely new sort of springy forms. For this particular project um, I was playing around with some slightly different forms, not too different, but just trying to create um, a, a newer sort of look with them. So I started off with um, the more sort of clamshell sort of like look and then eventually if we go back to the work itself um, started to develop these different shapes. Now this work is all about, um, I live in Hastings and it's about the coastline. It's about a lovely place called Fairlight which has these stunning cliffs um, but of course the sea is battering them all the time. There's lots of coastal erosion, which is very sad. We're losing a lot of our coastline, but it does actually end up creating these very stunning um, rhythmic forms in the rocks. And of course it's the sea crashing into those rocks, this foaming sea crashing into the rocks, which create these really, really gorgeous forms in the rocks. Um, and that's the story of my work. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.